What's up, true gamers out there? Sega Man back here, back here, with another pickups video. Now, I went some thrift hunting today for some games. I went to Half Price Books, and a lot of the games there um, I already have, so um, there wasn't really much around here um, to pick up today when it comes to gaming. Um, it's really hard being a collector because I mostly have every every not every game, but most of the games that you see out there, no matter if it's half price books or you go to your exchanges, some of your exchanges might have games that you want to add to your collection, but it might be too expensive for you right now. So um, I can buy them, but I choose not to. I like to find good deals on games that I collect. You know what I mean? Better deals than what some of these uh, places offer me. So, when I went and I found my few games today and a couple other things that are gaming related that I'm going to put in this video. Um, it wasn't bad price wise, especially at my local um, thrift store. So, let's get into what I found there first. Now, it wasn't much. Much of the stuff you find is the same things you either already own or sports games or stuff like that you might not be interested in. You know what I mean? If it's a sports game that I don't have, then I'll, I'll pick it up. So, one of the first games I found there for a um, buck seventy-five is uh, an original... Uh, it's not... A, it's, I think it's on the Nintendo 64 too, I believe it is. But it's a game that also came out for the PlayStation 1. And I don't have this in my collection. And this is called um, Bio Freaks. And... Um, this was a good game on the N64. Um, I played on the N64. It was really, really good. So I'm going to see what it's like on the, the regular PlayStation. It was only $1.75. Every time I go to my local, you know, thrift stop, I'm starting to find a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of PlayStation 1 games. I might already own. But they're very cheap. And if you don't own them, they're, they're great picking up if you're a collector. You know what I mean? So... The PlayStation 2 will always be the favorite PlayStation that I like. But um, if I don't own these for the original OG uh, PlayStation, I will pick them up. So I'm going to try Bio Freaks out on the PlayStation. It is a fighting game. A little bit cheesy by Midway. You know what I mean? It's different. You know what I mean? But that's what I like about it. You know, like the game you buy for um, the Sega Genesis, uh, uh, Eternal Champions. So, which is an awesome game. But... I picked that up for $1.75. I found uh, X Men Mutant Academy uh, for $1.75 for your original PlayStation. And I believe this is also a fighting game. I thought I had a loose card of this. I have to check. I think I do. I don't have it in its case. But um, couldn't beat it for the price. So I picked that up. Another one I have here for the um, original PlayStation. I don't think I own this game. Um, it's called um, Perfect Weapon. It looks like a beat 'em up game, so I, I picked that up for a dollar seventy-five. So I might give this a shot uh, sometime here soon. You know, I'll put it in my PlayStation Two and play it. You know what I mean? But I'll give that a shot. So I picked up that um, Perfect Weapon. Also, I may add the disc in these games are in perfect condition. It's really hard to find these games in perfect condition at thrift stores. They're usually really beat up and scratched up sometimes. So, Now another one I found actually for the PlayStation 2 because they have a ton of PlayStation 2 games there that are you know that some of them I already have or I'm not really interested in but I don't own this uh, for the PlayStation 2 and it is uh, Ghost Rider. So I picked that up for uh, PlayStation 2, I thought of my, you know, YouTube uh, brother, Ghost, Ghost, you know, Ghost with the most, you know, Ghost, you know, he's a cool dude, you know, one of he, one of he bots and mine's uh, friends. But I picked this up. Now the disc looked like some kid had it and put his fingers all over it, so I have to clean it. But I picked up um, Ghost Rider, and I'll probably be checking this out. Marvel 2K Games, so I'll try that out. Now, um, two games, just two games at um, Half Price Books. 
not a very good selection this time, guys. Not a very good selection. And um, I picked up a, um, you know, I own Michael Jackson uh, game on the Genesis. It's worth a lot of money right now, Moonwalker. But they had a Michael Jackson game called the Michael Jackson The Experience for the Nintendo DS. And I don't, I didn't own it. So I actually picked it up. That was $6 for the DS. So you use a little pen with it. You know, does his little dance moves and stuff like that. So it seemed pretty interesting. And um, I liked it, the Michael Jackson Moonwalker on there. And any games that Michael Jackson came out with, like he was in Space Channel 5, he was in Ready to Rumble Round 2, and um, his own game, Moonwalker. And I also picked this up. So I wanted to put it in my collection because uh, back in the day when I was younger, Michael Jackson was the man, you know what I mean? So I wanted to add this to my collection so I picked it up for $5.99 plus to me it's it's a it's good to add to your collection because it was Michael Jackson so now the next one I picked up for $7.99 it was for the 360 is the first uh, template templar if I'm saying that right this was $7.99 show you the price for it was $7.99 for the Xbox 360 I do not own this in my um, 360 collection so uh, I'm going to give it a shot, see what it's all about. So I picked that up to add to the collection. Uh, that was complete in there, which is not bad. You know, so that's awesome. Now, another thing I picked up there that is game related that I didn't know. I'm a very, very, very hardcore, hardcore Gears of War fan. And I have a few books, but I don't have uh, the Atmosphere Fields. Um, by Karen Travis and they had this book there for two dollars so I picked it up uh, cool uh, Gears of War book you know what I mean I will read it soon uh, the thing about like about half price books is their stickers come right off and they don't mess nothing up how about that so I want to add this you know to the Gears uh, book collection you know what I mean so it's awesome found it for two dollars which isn't bad the guy that found it for me actually said it's usually way more than two bucks so I got lucky there so I'll be checking that out and the last two things I found that uh, five and below it is game related I'm actually gonna uh, put these up in, you know in my little game room I am gonna take these I think I'm gonna take these out of the box I don't really want to hang them up I might take them out of the box and they were five dollars a piece and they're two uh, amiibos and the first one I got here is, um, you know, um, from Nintendo, Super Smash Brothers is Ryu. Picked that up for $5. He's very, very detailed, this Amiibo, uh, which is awesome. I picked that up. And another one from Smash Brothers from uh, Zero Suit Samus. I can't, I don't know where, I can't remember if Samus is, I don't know where Samus is from, guys. So, in the comment section uh, below, when you guys comment, um, Remind me where Samus is from. I, I can't remember where she's from, but I, I picked her up. Uh, vi posed very well there for an amiibo. Very, very well. Uh, that was $5, so I picked that up. The other ones I wasn't too too interested in, but I'm going to display these guys. You know, I'm going to take them out of the box. They were only 5 bucks. you know what I mean? Um, a lot of people collect amiibos, and if I find different ones, I'll get them. You know what I mean? But... I picked these up, so it, it, you know what? If they have them again, I might even pick them up again and have ones in the box and ones not in the box. So, Because you can't beat the price, really, of these Amiibos, which is awesome. So I picked them up at Half Price Books. So, But that's all I got for today, guys. Uh, I'm going to still pick, do some more pickups. Like I said, it's hit or miss sometimes with me. Sometimes it's a great one. Sometimes it's not so good, good pickups, you know, depending on where you go. And where you shop. Now I might have to stop at my local exchange here in another week or so. See what they have there. And uh, pick up some more games and do pickups. Um, and I think uh, in a couple days I need to do another Sega Man reviews. Uh, it's been a while since I did one. I like doing that. You know so that's what I got for um, this time guys for pickups. Uh, let me know in the comments section below what you think of my pickups. Uh, let me know about the Amiibo. Um, you know if you guys are going to pick up anything you know to add to your collection or what you're playing you know what you're enjoying in gaming 
uh, you know, because that's what it's all about. So I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, shout out to all my subscribers. You know, I really appreciate you guys, uh, you know, subscribing to my channel. You know, Sega Man, very humble. You know what I mean? I like bringing out these videos for you guys, you know, about gaming, true gaming. You know what I mean? Not all the riffraff, you know, just showing stuff. And, you know, sometimes, yeah, I will tell you things that are on my mind. It has to do with gaming, but it's not a constant thing. So enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy your uh, gaming. And um, I will talk to you guys later. Peace. I want to give a shout out to 100, He Bought, K Mega, uh, Lemon, um, Cyrus649, um, Randy Rambo. Check out his channel. Uh, he's pretty cool. You know what I mean? Uh, if you subscribe to me, I'll subscribe back. Just please don't troll me. You know what I mean? If you're going to do that, I'm not going to subscribe back and I'm going to block you. You know what I mean? I don't have time for that on my channel. You know, it's all about gaming with me. You know what I mean? Uh, I really, you know, appreciate you guys that are honest and, you know, giving your opinions on, on my videos. I really appreciate it. You know, I'll give you a thumbs up and a heart, you know what I mean, which is awesome, showing you my respect of you uh, subscribing to my channel and hearing what I have to say about gaming, all right? Peace and love, Xbox for life. Peace.